Hello, and now we're gonna go through Carla's portfolio for visual development and character design and hope this helps. Uh, overall, uh, when I start, I look at the entire portfolio like pretty quick, like we have the thumbnails here. I go through the whole project. I see you have like a couple of projects and there are a lot of work of course, we always want to have the most condensed portfolio because the recruiters, they don't have time to um, just, they have like hundreds of applications and they want to see as quick as possible your best work. So let's see if we can do it together. We can find ways to emit, create even a stronger portfolio with the same uh, artworks that you have. Uh, so this is the start. Uh, a great epic start. I love the red. I love this concept. Um, everybody loves Batman, of course. I would still add, uh, I know you have your last name and first name. I would still add something that connects us to you online, like website, a username for Instagram, whatever. Just something that I can find you online or a QR code. And um, before I go through this whole process of, I think, is this the, the same? Um, th this is a new project, so this detective is a new project. So my advice would be that although you designed everything by yourself, uh, I wouldn't start my portfolio with a project that already exists unless I actually worked on it. So like on a feature or if I had if I if you worked on if this like cartoon for Batman on TV just put it at the beginning of your portfolio but if it's just this just uh, a personal project I wouldn't put it at the beginning because um, and most of the design for these character in the story had been done already by other people a lot of times and uh, I think I would want to see uh, something more personal in the portfolio, right? Something that you develop by yourself or uh, unless, yeah, again, unless you, if you work for companies or studios and you have those works, that's a different story. But if you're a student and you only have personal project, I would add something with a more personal taste rather than a story that has already been told and worked on before because it might f come off like if I come like it's like a fan art mostly but in a bigger scale so I would keep that in mind uh, but again maybe you already worked on this for a tv show I'm not sure so um, uh, it looks great I love that you started with three characters and there are a lot of um, spacing here I see like just repeatedly spacing like one paragraph space like two silhouettes of the shapes probably these are like your logos bat logos a paragraph space paragraph it's like a lot happening here and especially for a story like this that has been already told in this industry we don't need a lot of explanation so I would rather see your design shining uh, in this scene and is bigger rather than so your text is just covering one third of your page, right? I would recommend just just minimize it and just have your characters more popping out or even, uh, yeah, just, just remove it and just have your characters popping out. Not to mention that we have three characters here and I love that you have all kind, like you have an old guy, you have a bad man, you have, uh, yeah, the Poison Ivy, I think, if, if she, if I'm right, right? This Alfred, if I'm right. So, and this is the explanation for it. Mm -hmm, Batman, Poison Ivy, okay. So, yeah. So, if I zoom on these characters, uh, if you, s uh, if you see, like, Alfred and Batman and Poison Ivy, they all kind of are standing uh, posing in the same way uh, almost like they're taking a picture right so they're all standing and even the hands here are the arms are kind of the same just a little bit away from the body so i think uh, what i would try to create a c contrast here with 
uh, flow of the body and the posing. So if what is the strongest po pose of Batman and what is the more deceiving pose of Poison Ivy? Because this is not like a character sheet that the 3D artists will look. This is how you're selling your design. And I would uh, explore a bit further with how you can present your character the best way possible, right? Um, uh, in general, I think that could uh, just create a lot more contrast and interesting contrast comp like we don't want to see offers standing like batman that's what i mean and i think this is important because it can show that you convey different characters with different posing and storytelling so and that's why we create this uh, lines that it's not just to show the character it's just show who they are right so and part of it is with posing uh, here we have design of the character, like three uh, outfit and some expressions and turnarounds. I love that. It looks great. I love the shapes. Very unique. It's like this bold and bulky shape for Batman. It suits him well. And here we have some character explanation, exploration. And if I see here and then zoom on here. So what i can see that you have four poses for this character which is really nice because you're trying to tell us who he is but two poses of him are reading and two poses of him are sitting thinking or mad so maybe try uh to add like one reading might be enough i i think maybe if there is one that he's working on a computer it's more interesting rather than both of them reading something from like a paper or book or one is sitting like this and thinking the other one is like fixing something so a little bit more variety with the storytelling here would also help to for me to imagine the character because now it's uh, it it's like more it's more generic moments right so I would create something like a, a moment that if only he does and I, like I don't do right and for these ones I think it's what I would do is to create uh, the heads like leave this have the head all the heads sh shot next to each other like if we have turnarounds of the Batman and then the character and the character expression of the Batman and then the character himself um, we can have it next to each other and what I see here this is not the same head as this one you know why because when i go to this turnaround and i look i'm not sure if you actually put it on the same face here because this this is this seems like a lot more space happening here and up here and then when the mask is on it's so thin it's like he is a lot thinner it's like the, the jaw is thinner there's no I mean, I know that the mask is like stretchy and cover it, but again, even in this expression, it seemed like a different head compared to this, right? So maybe try to create the same expression here and just add the mask on top because it's important we see this is the same character. And, and when if, for example, if we're going to try to animate it, we're not going to create a whole new character. We're just going to animate the same character with this different costume. So uh, this is an important point that I can see here. Mm, Poison Ivy looks great. I think here, uh, uh, be mindful of this part because we don't want part of our work just kissing almost the corner. And also the text is like almost touching the borders. Uh, this, is a, this is like a composition wise it could be annoying and could just grab the attention unnecessarily we have also poison ivy here i love her design and her nose i think it's unique i just hate that when all the women has to be extremely pretty to have like perfect nose and perfect hair and i think she is more believable to me she is more poison ivy to me i love the nose like this curvy nose and I love what you did here. It's very, very bold and brave. And I would do a still the same thing. I We have two poses. I mean, these are people with superpowers. These are superheroes or heroes or even like villains. So uh, uh, 
what if we, we want to see the most powerful uh, moment of these characters if they're in their suits so if she's it seems like she's sitting in a bar here like she's all um, trying to grab attention and be so flirty but uh, what else you can do uh, show us that because that's the part that this character shine maybe your poison ivy is doing a little bit of different things than other poison ivies but in general i think again here we see a repeat of the same mood and i would try i mean this is great because mm, although it's again it's in the same context at least it's from a different angle but again i would explore more of her character in here the expression looks great and uh, this is really nice yeah the silhouette the black so we have some prop design here uh, the reason I'm going through it is because I already looked at it before like if I go through it faster to save some time we have the bad case the design looks great the reference uh, we don't need to see a lot of references from the for the necklace and because we have like more complicated uh, stuff here without reference so you don't need to show us reference for a necklace and I would say um, here um, I see a little bit of different, um, I'm not sure if this is the final, uh, version of the, the characters and they are this stylized, the shapes are so simple here, right? So, uh, here the necklace seems like, uh, too, it has a lot of detail here, right? Compared to all the shapes that you designed, so much detail here. So, it seems like a little bit inconsistent with the style that you had there. Uh, these are stuff maybe a bit uh, more closer, but then definitely necklace stands out for me. That seems like had has a different, uh, uh, there's a lot more detail, right? It's a lot more painting and detail. It's just, I, I think uh, I would go even more stylized and if you want to do this maybe have it a little bit more stylized and the shapes could be more mm, yeah more simplified and um, like for example if I look at your sketches here I need to zoom in but it, it's not happening okay so you found some solution here some solutions here like you have some bigger pearls and then it's still bigger so these are still more like shape, they has shape design than just these a lot of tiny ones. So even for props, I try to make sure that they're all connected and it's still, um, yeah, these are like familiar design to me. It's Batman, it's familiar, the colors are familiar, the silhouettes are familiar. So again, it's a great work that you did. I love your technique, I love your style. I just wouldn't put it at the beginning of my project unless it's for a TV show already existing so we have the detective project yeah we have some visual development here yeah this is a detective I guess and then you have a clue so you have a lot of stuff in your project in your portfolio so um, for this detective so you are showing us this work as the, the just representing your project and um, if I zoom in, I see like a lot of uh, different colors. It's, it's yeah, crime. I can immediately see it's a crime animation or it's a crime scene, like concept for a crime movie. And I love that you played a lot uh, with the darker colors and brighter colors. And then you add a lot of accents color here. And there is warmth and cold color playing around. Uh, there are ways to improving this work if this is like the the shot that you want to present uh, to sell your animation that first there is not much of an, a story uh, what I mean is that this is like a scene like a nice scene and if I would wanted to explore I would want if I want to share my project I would start with a little bit more story so I'm not sure what the story is here. It seemed like there are weird stuff happening here, but I'm not sure why. And also lighting wise, I see a lot of colors. I see green, red, blue, orange, all, and they're all super saturated. So, and this won't happen 
so if you have like for example a big light and it's red i don't think we it's gonna be red here <laughs> like this wall is gonna be red even if it's night and when we have this light coming up to this point this area i mean this is going to be more red than the chair obviously or uh, we have like some arrows here very sharp almost like these are the brightest point of this work like this one this these are the brightest part which lead me to nowhere there is nothing here so uh, there's no story here if there was a door or like a guy going inside of something then I'll get it but these arrows are grabbing a lot of attention with no uh, story behind them and and then what I like about here is that you paint in this building really nicely and the windows and then here it seemed like you didn't finish the work because they're like right next to each other and this is just the shape so even if you want to keep them more simple and just I know that we talk about we have to render what's closer to the camera and what's in the background has to be like more simple but this is uh, uh, compared to what you have here this is uh, not seems like it's not f done it's not finished and also it's here we have like a really bright red like a lot of bright bright points that grabs attention uh, what I would do to improve this work, I love this blue and I love this dark. I would just make these warm colors like uh, just uh, make him like a little bit darker and desaturated uh, to grab less attention like what you did here. I like that more. And if there is a something here is like a story point I will add. If not, then maybe these are not like this bright and just let me know where the story is happening. Where should I look? At first, if I want to look at this work, where do you want me to look? If it's here, then I think you're grabbing a lot of attention in this area. And and also the reason that I it it could if this is the, your story and this is where you want to show me your story is happening, you have to add also something here, like a cat or a guy or whatever happening like a hand print or some just show me a little bit more about what's happening because i don't see in all your focal points that you're trying to grab attention you're just not showing me much and it's a, a it's a beautiful work when i think you can with a little bit of touch of a story it could be amazing um is this a, so yeah so here we have a uh, yeah some uh, of the same building yeah it's a design it looks nice i love it it's it just yeah shows uh, how the set is designed and a lot of exploration here here also we have a room that is really nice it's a detective room i love your props it's just very well rendered and very pretty i love them it's just i love it it's like the time it's just how old they are. I can see so much character here. What I don't, I think what I could do to improve this page is not have this one here because y these are all compacted next to each other and then they're all in the dark and they have like warm color and it's creating this, this warm, cozy page for me to look at and just my eyes are just exploring and enjoying and then I have this sharp black and white piece here which I think is grabbing all the attention and these deserve to have a little bit more attention compared to this I would put this in another page if it's about uh, the detective and um, here we have like three different um, three different uh, this is like isometric and then this is like more with camera lens here you have your isometric have like a perspective right it's like a three-point perspective I can see but here is like uh, yeah it doesn't have that perspective if you want to stay consistent with how you're showing your project I would recommend to stick to this perspective for this room because this now it feels like it's like a 
you know this low poly design that they do in 3d and it's like for games for mobile games it has this perspective and your work you already showed us a lot of more interesting angles so i will keep this in this perspective and about the character we have the character here more exploration um yeah uh, well i would say so you have the character painted and the style and then you can add your maybe the heads here somewhere because um the variations that you're showing us here uh, could add to your process to how you get there but i think these these faces could be also somehow added in this page if you want to show about like all about your character in one page because i don't think these are the in the best place and maybe start with your character so if you have like the page with the logo and your character only the detective and then we start to see this concept instead of the intro i think uh, it's first give us some space between those two projects to breathe like a little bit more like an empty and more empty yeah page that has like another introduction for a new project and then we start seeing concept i think that could uh, make this project also pop out more uh, after the other one so there's wow, there's a lot of work here i would recommend to just condense your work and have um yeah just pick up your favorite and then keep some of them uh, just remove the work that you think if you remove it we can still see what you can do that's my advice so i already saw that you can do a lot of design i, I can see it here so try not to repeat it in your portfolio mm, because uh, the only show us the final works and in a couple of pages the process that's it so we have another project uh, which again it's another the way you put like a name here and a poster and then we have this creature turn around and a facial expression props i mean i love your props i must say and then another project so i would say the same thing about this creature i like your design and i like i don't know how you can imagine things like this <laughs> like in a lot of expression for the face like this i think you're very creative and i want to know what is the default pose for a monster because it seems like this is the same it's like very static and a monster like this who almost is kind of be like an animal i would say for here it makes sense because you're trying to show us how it's designed and this is like a turn around for the production but here i don't want to see this i want to see him in pain or doing something or destroying something or you know just emotion i want to see emotion here and i think just repeating it i see this three times now already so i think repeating it is not gonna help with the uh, selling the character i just would add one extra pose here that shows some emotion about this character rather than um, this uh, static turnaround expressions are great these are awesome i love your props and i love how you th how you're so good with lights and lightings and render and there's another project that we jump to i think it'll be nice if you create some space between the projects so um uh, it, they're almost blending but they're not because then the style changes and it's kind of surprising and seems like uh, this is not like you didn't spend a lot of time to actually think about the logo or how to present your work so if they're not a project and they're just one concept yeah you can just put them one by one at one uh, yeah it's just we can see them all one after the other but if it's a specific project I would create a little bit more breathing room and space between projects even a little bit just would do the job and if i look at this project this is the strongest project in your portfolio so it has personal taste i mean the render the color is fantastic 
I absolutely love what you did here. The exploration is so beautiful, so well rendered, well thought. And I just love what you did here. If I were you, I would put this in the beginning. I would start with this, with this amazing work. And I would just, yeah, this is like, and I and, and just, just forget about it, a lot of text and just make them bigger and just sell the artwork to us because um, this is where if I don't read the text, I know what you did. And I think that's the most important part. And I can see your thumbnails. It's okay if you want to add a bit of a story, but please add it where you're trying to s introduce the project and not a lot in between the works. And this is the most beautiful work in this um, like environment. I love this, what you did here with the colors. And maybe uh, I would say instead of Batman, I would start with this because it's very unique and well done. And um, it seems like, yeah, characters, again, I have the same feedback as the other character sheets. Uh, they're all, um, and they're not, I don't see a unique action. I think a spe like a smoking, maybe it's not their superpower, but just adds, like this one has something like, yeah, she's a fighter, I can see, but the rest, I'm not sure what's going on. So although I can see that they're like, suppose this is a game and they're maybe add a little bit more about character, but start i would say start with this work so i hope this helped and let me know if you have questions thank you